Welcome back you guys, how you all doing today? I'm Nini FC, this is Blue Lines CV and in today's news daily video I'm here to discuss centre back news because this summer we seem set, we seem destined to spend big on a big name centre back. In today's news daily video I'm going to break down the latest updates in regards to Upa Meccano and I'm going to discuss news surrounding Rafael Varane and a potential move for him in the summer. So honestly you guys this is very exciting times. I feel like we are only a handful of signings away from having a team, from having a squad that is ready to start challenging for every single trophy. For a club like us, that is the only option, that is the only way forward. And before I continue on, if you're planning on making any club purchases for any merchandise, for any kits, or for the new fourth edition special kit, then you guys, I'm your plug. If you use my discount code NINI10, you get a further 10% off your final order. You will find all the relevant information and all the details in the description below. And now for the first story, let's break down the update in regards to Upa Meccano because reports came out from Bild, the German sports publication, and they report that Thomas Tuchel, our manager Thomas Tuchel, wants Upa Meccano as his number one centre-back for Roman to sign. The reports are very promising, they're very exciting. Of course, it states that Roman, he's very comfortable paying that release clause. I mean, for a guy that's 21 years old with his experience, with his potential, to be available for 42 million euros, which is around 37, 38 million pounds. Of course, you guys, that is something that Roman can easily cover. And consider that Upa Meccano's wages aren't gonna be drastically high. They're not gonna be too mad, considering that he still is a young player. This feels like the perfect time to sign a player that every big team in Europe is monitoring, that every big club in Europe is after. And right now, it feels like we are one of the few favourites when it comes to signing Upa Meccano. Now, this news has been reported previously, but it's reassuring to know that we have made contact with Upa Meccano. I mean, this is news that we do know. We've made contact with a sport agency called Sports360 GmbH. So... You know, they've got a lot of clients in the Premier League. You know, they've worked with a lot of big clubs. They've got a lot of big names on their books as well. And considering that Upa Meccano's natural market value is actually at around 54 million, you know, you're kind of signing one of the best young centre-backs in Europe right now for way below his market value. So for me, this is a smart signing to make and to give my thoughts and opinions. Straight off the bat, if Thomas Tuchel, if he wants him as his number one defensive option, then... We have to support our new manager. We have to support him. We have to sign him for him. And it does make a ton of sense. Considering that we are going to use a back three system for large portions of Tuchel's reign. I mean, we are going to use different formations, but that will come in the long term. It's great to know that Upa Meccano naturally fits playing in a back three. Now, I keep stating that for me, he would be the Thiago Silva successor. Thiago is currently playing in the middle of a back three. Upa Meccano plays that role for Leipzig over the years. And... He's one of those defenders that controls his defense. It's going to be interesting to know that on a hypothetical one, if we do sign him, how much time is Upa Meccano going to need to settle into a new league, to settle in with his new teammates? Would he naturally just take control and start to lead? Because, you know, a lot of times, you know, players don't force this. You need to have that leadership inside you from within. And, you know, I'm sure if he comes, makes a big impression. Who knows what's going to happen, you guys. But the reality is, is that he is a defender that likes to command his back line. Now, I'm sure you guys know this already, but I'm really a massive fan of Upa Meccano. I feel like this guy could be one of the leading centre-backs in the next few years. He does everything you want. I mean, physically, he's ridiculous. He has the pace to match. And most importantly, he has the football intelligence. Because for me, that's what separates the top tier defenders from the guys who are just very good. With Upa Meccano, you know, his ability to kick off those attacks, to play out from deep. You know, he plays the ball with pace. He moves the ball very quickly. He's someone that's very comfortable to in tight situations. You know, he's not someone that has no technique that fumbles when, you know, he gets pressured and closed down, which makes him even more elite in my personal opinion. Now, he's someone that likes to carry the ball into midfield himself. He, he has that techers in him where he can dribble past the man and maintain that momentum of our build-up play. He knows when to leave his back line, he's comfortable doing that to, you know, stop a counter-attack further up, to close down, you know, any danger in front of him as well. And consider the fact that we are signing a 21-year-old that has the potential to be one of the leading centre-backs in this position, who already at a very young age can do a lot of things to a very complete level that has such a great all-round game. 
Now this guy working under Tuchel, this player working under Tuchel, I mean, you, you can just easily imagine Upamecano sort going up and up and up. And for me, I think that Upamecano signing would symbolize a plan for the long term because I think it's obvious that our defenders right now, our defensive options won't be the long-term ones in the next maybe two years, three years, four years, etc, etc. Consider the ridiculous talent we have. We've got Tomori out on loan, who's getting big praise in Italy already. We have players like Mark Gai, who could argue has been easily the best centre-back in the championship this season already at 20 years old. You can imagine in the future, Upa Makano, Gai playing as a centre-back duo, or even playing part of a back three. I mean, imagine Tomori. Upamakano and Gai in the future one day. That doesn't seem impossible, you guys. And consider the ridiculous talent we have at the under-23 level and in the youth team level too. It feels like we can build a ridiculous, ridiculous, I mean, complete defensive setup, you guys. So in the comments below, give your thoughts and opinions on Upamakano. Do you trust Tuchel? Do you like the fact that he is the number one target that Tuchel wants? Or do you feel like we need to go for more experienced options, players that are older that can come in and guarantee us that quality immediately? Say your reasons why below. And now you guys, we end things with the second big story today. And that's reports suggesting interest in Real Madrid's Rafael Varane. Now, these reports had come out from Marsa and it was a pretty revealing article. At this point in time, Real Madrid are fearful that Varane does not want to commit to signing a new contract extension. Now, the fear comes from the fact that next summer, Varane's contract does expire, and if he refuses to sign a new deal, Real Madrid cannot afford to allow a player of his experience, of his world-class ability, to leave for absolutely nothing. So, if Varane does not commit to a new contract, Madrid would be forced to have to sell him in this next window. And when you consider Varane's market value, which is set at around 70 million euros, he's one of the Real Madrid players with the highest market value, in the squad right now and considering the fact that Madrid need to start rebuilding their team they have many aging players that won't be in the next few years and already in defense they have issues with Ramos who hasn't signed a new contract too they have issues with Rafael Varane they've signed players like Militao who hasn't set the world on fire at this point in time Madrid would need that money to reinvest back into their team. Now, some of the defensive options that Madrid are considering as backups for Varane are Villarreal's Pal Torres and Sevilla's Kunde and Diego Carlos. So Madrid are covering themselves in case. And one of the main reasons behind why Varane has not committed to a new deal straight away is that reports have been coming up for a while suggesting that Varane wants a new challenge. He wants a new experience. He wants to test himself further. And that makes a ton of sense. Since he signed for Real Madrid as a 17-year-old, 18-year-old, He's won absolutely everything in the game. And I'd imagine after spending 10 years at Real Madrid, maybe he feels like it's time to test himself in a different league. So based on that, it seems that Madrid would be happy to sell Varane for 50 million euros, which of course is quite expensive due to the fact that he has one year left on his deal. However, he is a world-class player who's won everything in the game. You're not going to sign a player like this for less than 50 million. Now to give my thoughts and opinions, I guess the question is, would Varane be the signing we'd have to make? Now, the report does stress that we don't have Varane as one of our highest priority options. Of course, naturally, when players like this become available in the market, you are going to reassess things. You are going to consider, you know, new options as well. Considering the fact that if we do want to sign an experienced player, then Alaba might make more sense in the sense that, you know, you're signing him on a free and yeah, his wages are ridiculous. However, Varane's transfer value plus his wages too, you know he's going to cost a lot of money. At the same time, I also think that when a player like Varane is potentially on the market, you have to really consider him because of that immediate quality, that immediate experience that he brings straight to the team because you can't undervalue the mental aspects in the game. Throughout football, when it comes to winning, you want to win that war essentially. And you need players that are up for, you know, competing in those battles. And that's something that Varane has become seasoned with over the years. He's played in so many big games in Europe, uh, internationally, domestically too. If you sign him, you know straight away the quality that you are bringing into the team. And considering the young players we do have, you'd feel like they could learn from him. I mean, we've seen the value that Thiago Silva's brought immediately, and he's nearly eight, nine years older than Rafael Varane. For me, you guys, as I've been stressing, I like every single defender we've been linked with, that we're looking at, that we do have on our shortlist for next summer. I mean, you're looking at your Sulas, you're looking at your Alibas, your Upamakanas, your Varans, you can go on. And honestly, very exciting times. In the comments below, you guys, 
What defender, one defender, would you sign out of any defender for this summer? Let us know below, you guys. And on that note, I'm going to wrap things up and keep things moving. I'm Nini FC. This is Blue Lions CV. I'll catch you guys later with some more videos.